Hey guys, Dagger Matt here from Dagger Matt Military, and I have before you a few new SA and SS daggers um, that I've gotten in. And I just want to go through the ins and outs of each of these different daggers with you. Um, the different manufacturers, the different makeup of these daggers, and what makes them unique. So, <clears throat> let's start with the Voos. So, this is an early made SS dagger, SA dagger, I apologize. And uh, it's made by Voos. Um, not a super common maker, uh, pretty rare. I think it's an 8 on Mixar. Um, grip has a really nice, almost blondish color to it. Nicely set eagle with no chipping at all around the eagle. Roundel, perfectly set. Um, really no pressure marks too much on the grip. Grip's actually in pretty good shape. No chips or cracks to be observed. You got a nice wood grain pattern on the back. And what we're always looking for is up on the pommel nut. No signs of this dagger ever having been disassembled. Nickel silver fittings on the top and bottom. You have nickel silver fitting on the top of the scabbard. Nickel silver on the lower part of the scabbard. And then a nice anodized bluing process done to the body of the scabbard. We're going to examine the scabbard screws. Great shape, no issues there. So I would say these dagger scabbard screws have never been turned. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this little gold piece is on the scabbard ring. It was there when I bought it, so I'm going to leave it there. So, really nice scabbard, no dents. The ball is pretty much untouched. You have one little tiny ding on the very bottom there, but really nice shape. And then let's just take a look at this blade. Okay, and there you have the maker mark on the back, which is Voos. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hate to have fingerprints on my blades. There's the Voos. And Alles for Deutschland across the front. So pretty nice early, uncommon maker, SA. And we're gonna put this in the correct way. I'm gonna set that down. So pretty neat early SA there. This you could already look at and you could tell it is a later example. And how do you know just by looking at this, it's a later example? Well, here you have plating loss on both the upper and lower guards, okay? That's plating loss. <clears throat> you have plating loss to a lesser degree on the upper and lower fittings. You can see some plating loss around the top of the fitting right there. And then you can see that there's painting loss on the scabbard body as well which tells you this was a painted example you could see some crazing in the paint finish the grip is in nice shape on this no chips you have some pressure marks up top you have some very 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 minor spots down here which is indented in the wood not really cracks the wood is indented so you can see this is a later skinnier RZM grip okay we're gonna pull this out and I don't know if I could catch it here but there's still a lot of nice cross grain on this some dummy ran a grinder over it and the blade is slightly sharpened you could see where they went off kilter a little bit and actually got the blade so this is an RZM M7103 Hawk, made in Steyr and uh, Austria. Okay, the blade actually still has quite a bit of cross grain on it. And I don't know if I'm gonna get that in the pictures, but this is a very, 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 very uncommon maker. RZM M7103. So the reason I'm showing you this particular one is, let's see if I can get it. Here's another RZM, which again has some cross grain on it and you can see the motto is pretty indented 
here, I don't know if you guys are able to discern the difference there, but this is a much more surface type motto, which was indicative of Molish and Helbig. So I pulled this maker up. Um, Lakeside Trader sold a couple of these. Um, there was a couple sold on Whitman and they all have this same etch. So you can add this one to the long list of dagger manufacturers with poor etching. So Joseph Hauk. Okay. Examining the scabbard, we see very similar patterns. Untouched scabbard screws, a perfect, perfect ball, really straight scabbard body. And same thing on this one. This is the Hawk scabbard. Okay, really straight scabbard body. One minor ding in the ball, but the ball's in really nice shape. Okay. So this guy here, you still have a lot of cross grain on the blade. A little bit of graying here and there. This is a Schaff M756. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. Really pretty grip here. Look at the grip color on this Schaff. It's a rosewood type grip. Untouched pommel nut. You can see these fittings were once upon a time plated. The plating has since worn off. And look at that eagle. Do you guys see that? That eagle is copper. You got a couple of little nicks on the pommel, but I would dare say that this dagger has never been apart. These look more like contact dents on the pommel than they do necessarily the dagger having been disassembled. So what do we have here? Ooh. RZM, 1163-38 SS, okay? Um, hopefully you guys can see the cross grain, still remaining on the blade. Really nice fruit wood grip, thick cross guards, which was indicative of Helbig. Nice untouched pommel nut. And then the typical etch that you see on Helbig's, Mein Ehrheist Troy, My Honor is Loyalty, really nice blade. And then the scabbard, black painted with some crazing to it. You can see the untouched scabbard screws, the domed scabbard screws that they should be. The ball looks to be in really good shape. Scabbard screws are in good shape. You have some chipping on the edges of the scabbard from normal wear. But a really, really nice example. Really, really nice SS dagger uh, that I'm going to be selling. So four different daggers that I showed you today. We had the early Voos, the transitional Helbig, the late war S.A. Schaff, and then over here, the late war Joseph Hoch out of Austria. So a couple new essays that I got in. Um, if you are interested in any of these daggers, they are all going to be up for sale. I will put the link on which I sell my daggers in the um, comments below. So check it out. It's on Facebook. It's a site called Jolly Farm. A very, very busy access um, page where we uh, sell our access items. Um, but this SS will be up there probably tonight. Really nice example that I'm going to be selling. Relatively inexpensive for SS. Um, this Voos SA is going to be up, listed up there tonight. So check it out. If you're in the market for an SA dagger, hit me up. If you're in the market for an SS dagger, Hitler Youth, any German edged weapons, um, I could definitely help you guys out. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You found it informative. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, hit it now. And I'll see you next time.